Alright guys, so <clears throat> it's a bit hard for me to talk at the moment because I've got a torch in my mouth. But um, I'm trying to read some of these old newspapers here. <laughs> this one here is quite interesting. American Mail. Negro decision causes uproar. Bitter indignation swept America's deep south today against the Supreme Court's ruling that whites and Negroes should sit side by side in buses. State governors, senators and Attorney General joined in fiercely worded protests. Governor Mar Marvin Griffin of Georgia, one of the sanctionists champions of white supremacy, said another example of a overt unsterpatrum I can't even pronounce that word of the liberties of the people what a load of shit we shall oppose this latest decision just as we are resisting the decision in the school segregation school segregation what are these oh my god sick cases by all possible legal in Louisiana state senator William Ranch commented, this decision is a new step in federal dictatorship. It is an unconstitutional seizure of, of authority by nine qualified men. Cafe. Must have been one of the very first instant instant coffees. Oh, that was a nice one. It's a green one. Wow! Look at that. That's a little tin. inside it. Oh, wow, Oxo, that's unusual. That's, that's a nice one, it's got a, it's got a glass top. Ah, thimble. Look at that. That's a thimble. It's hard to get comfortable in this place. This is uh, rubble, bits of glass. Bloody everywhere. Wow, that's awesome. Still got its original box. It smells of oil. That's quite a cool one, that is. Heinz malt vinegar. Didn't realise Heinz made vinegar. Poison. 